Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge with the Rivers family. The year is 1380 and we are in episode 51. I apologize for the long time since I last uploaded. It's been a whirlwind couple of weeks. Uh, unfortunately, my grandfather passed away um, under some depressing circumstances. So I've been spending a lot of time with my family and you know, doing all the things that come after a loved one passes away as well as just trying to get my life together in general. <laughs> so yeah, we're back with the Ultimate Decades Challenge and I did draw for the Growing Together giveaway off screen and I have reached out to the person who won and I will show that clip at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But that person has not responded to my EA at friend request. So um, if you are the winner that is drawn at the end of this video, please go check your friend requests on the EA app because I have sent you one and I would like to get you your prize as soon as possible. Anyway, let's get into the shenanigans. So as you'll see here, we do have a special event for 1380. It is the poll tax. So it says in 1380, a poll tax of 12 pence per adult was imposed. The third poll tax in four years. It brought to a head the economic discontent that had been growing since the middle of the century. And then our rule here is, only your main household must pay a one-time fee of $5,000. So if we're being technical, Wyatt's family, Wyatt's family would be the one who would have to pay the tax because they're the main household. But the money situation in the house Henford has been so weird that I am just going to treat our Rivers Farmstead as the main household for this. I'm a little nervous though, because I don't know if we have $5,000, but let's go check it out. Oh, great heavens, what is going on? Oh no, what is happening? Where's my CC? <laughs> what was uninstalled? Everybody calm down, everybody save. I mean, there was an update yesterday or sometime this past week or something, so I don't know, man. <laughs> I hope it doesn't wipe it for all of my Sims. God, that's gonna take forever to fix. Well, looks like I'm probably gonna have to fix theirs, but hopefully everybody else is okay. Okay, let's fix these people. And we actually just have enough money to pay for this. So actually, before I forget, let me take the money out. So that leaves us with $486. Sorry about it, but at least we can say we paid it for sure. And let's get your clothes back. <laughs> what? Is she pregnant? Or does she just have Joan's body type? There's no way she's pregnant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that she's just shaped like her sister Joan. Remember when Joan had a belly like that? Okay, everyone's got their clothes back. Well, we're poor now after the pull, pull tax, so I think I'm gonna spend a little time with these guys to uh, get that bag up a little bit. Oh, oh, my CC got taken away from over here. Oh man, what the heck? All my CC items got removed from the house. What the heck, man? This is gonna be so annoying to fix. Uh, I'll do this later. How am I gonna replace all these items? I don't have enough money. That's not fair. All right, how much does six bottles of milk get us? Oh, we got some socks. Can I sell these? No. Okay, I'll sell, oh, okay. I'll just sell all these. These are gonna be big money. Oh yeah, baby, yeah, baby. I guess since all of their stuff got wiped, I'll pretend like you know, to, to get the $5,000 to pay the pool tax, maybe they had to sell a lot of things. That's why they're missing some of their regular items. That's what we're going with, okay? I also got rid of all my ingredients in the fridge, so now I have to live on fruit salad again, I guess. Yummy, yummy. All right, we need to head over to the English barracks because we have a couple of important roles we need to do. Oh my God. Okay, everybody's dressed again. Oh my God, that was annoying. All right, the boys are socializing at the barracks. Um, okay, so the things we have to do here today, first of all, Gil Sosa is going to die of old age. So let's do that real quick. Sorry, buddy, but it's been a long time. You lived a long life. So we can say he was killed in action. It works out for us. And the next thing we have to do is, uh, we actually have to roll. It is Wyatt's 
the third's birthday today. He is aging from a teen to a young adult. So we're just gonna age you up, Wyatt. Um, I know you're sad, but you gotta age up. And this is gonna be a risky roll. Oh wait, this has just given me the information that the CC bed's working in. Good, now I can use the CC beds back in my main house. It's not a happy birthday per se, but. All right, so he is a party animal, he's lazy, and let's find something that actually fits his established personality. Maybe something like creative since he's somewhat of a bard. I think we should do that, yeah. And then his aspiration, we're gonna keep it as it was as neighborhood confidant. All right, so now we have to roll for him. Yay, he's such a pretty boy. And maybe his acne will go away now that he's older. So he needs to avoid rolling a 2, 6, 11, 13, or 14. All right, here we go. Oh no! 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 Are you serious? No, why do I lose everybody I love? He doesn't have a son. He has a daughter. Is Henry our heir now? What is going on? I have to take him off the banner? I don't know. Well, he does not survive. He does not survive. He is killed in action. I am so sorry, buddy. I love you so much. Goodbye. Should have never played this game today. I could try to have one of them save it, though. William could try to save him. That's definitely what we're gonna do. William is going to try to save his bestie. Okay, William, get ready, because you got you're gonna have to plead. You're gonna have to plead. Plead for Wyatt. Stop mourning over Gil. He's irrelevant. Come on, William. The fate of this legacy depends on you. This could change the course of the entire family line. He said yes! He said yes! He said yes! He said yes! He said yes. Oh my god, they're best friends. They're best friends. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Saved my life. This is the best day ever. Except for Gil died, but who really cares about Gil, honestly. All by life-saving hero. Yay! All right, it's day two. We're back with the ladies at the castle. And look, little Losa aged up into an infant. Oh, she's crying. Why are you crying, baby? This is our first infant of the whole family. Let's do something with her. Um, tummy time. Tummy time. Oh, my little baby. Oh, they're gonna build a snowman together. Hurry up, Therese, you're gonna miss the whole thing. I'm gonna build it by myself. Where are you going? You're supposed to be helping. Stop, come and help me build my snowman. Look, it's done now. You didn't even help, you little brat. Should put you back in the cage. Ew, don't call me. Don't talk to me. More tummy time. She doesn't like it. Oh, baby. Oh, I can't wait till Wyatt comes home and meets his daughter. They can make more babies. You're doing so good. I think she's almost got it. Let me guess, these people are naked too? Yup. Yup, they naked. Okay, time to put your clothes back on. I don't think it was this one, but I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, maybe I should put give her a witch hat for her regular outfit too. Oh, it's kinda cute. Kinda tacky, but kinda cute. Like, I don't know. Too conspicuous though. Zacabra. Thomas wouldn't be Thomas without his evil hat. Perfect. Okay, so the results are in. Everybody wants uh, the witch and Thomas to become an evil power couple by falling in love and procreating. So that is what we're gonna work on right now. Probably wouldn't want to sleep down here in the basement next to the little kid. Uh, the little kid's name is Tom also. So, sussy. I'm gonna be honest with you, I forgot that I named him Tom because He's supposed to be like Voldemort, okay? This is like Voldemort's mom, okay? So I'm gonna rename him something else other than Tom. All right, we're gonna name him Marvelo. Okay, your name is now Marvelo. All right, it's time to fall in love with me. I'm going to show off my muscles. Oh my God, the cat looks dead. He's just chilling though. Oh my God, he's playing in a pile of bones. 
What is wrong with you? Oh, this is not what you thought it would be, is it, buddy? You were not expecting the domestic life. Give that treat wellness treat. This better work. Finally, him scared! It's actually a her, I think. Hydra. Yeah, it's a her. Sorry, Hydra. Okay, it's time to mentor our boy so we can uh, make him strong enough for us to date him. You know, we don't date any scrubs. Oh, this is kind of adorbs, not gonna lie. It's the family out doing some outdoor activities on a nice winter day. After this, we're gonna flirt. Oh, he's into that. He likes a nice strong... Could this mean Thomas likes deception? Well, we've been known that. Get out of here! Avert your eyes! You can't be seeing this! Alright, before we end this episode today, there is one final thing we must do. This is Wyatt too. You know him. You love him. It is time for his natural life to end. He is the first sim in this challenge who has lived from birth all the way to death of old age. So, he doesn't look old, but he's not. He's only like, I don't know, 40 or something. <laughs> um, but it is time for him to say goodbye to his family and pass on to the next life. What? No. He just, no. Immediately no. Nope. He wasn't on his lot, so he just bopped out of existence. No, we're not doing that. I'm resetting that immediately. I, I'm not. No. No, 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 no. Try that again. <gasps> He's still gone. I didn't save it, though. I didn't save it. Well, I guess we don't get to watch his death or a gravestone. No! It's like he never existed. Here. As a ghost! Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's the end of 1380. Thank you for tuning in. I'm hoping to get back into the regu regular swing of things. I know I say that every episode and then I don't. Life comes at you fast, let me tell you what. But, um, I really do hope that these come at least once a week. Because it hasn't even been that often, so... Until next time, hopefully not too long. Hopefully not even in a week. Hopefully less than a week. Uh, I'll see you later. Alright, here I am with the Wheel of Names. You guys know this is my favorite website to do anything randomized. So, I have input all of the names who entered the Growing Together giveaway for the pack. And I'm going to spin the wheel now. And then, if you're watching this on the channel, that means I've probably already reached out to you. So, if you haven't got the pack yet and you're the winner, please check your friend request, because that means I probably tried to send you it already. Unless you already have it. In that case, congratulations to the winner. Anyway, let's find out who that winner will be now. Where's the sound effects? It's not doing the little... Alright, looks like the winner is Mickey D 443 Congratulations, I'm going to be DMing you as soon as I can.